All right, so let's go over an exercise, one exercise that can really help a lot of people with their back pain. A lot of people are dealing with back pain. About 87% of people are walking around with some kind of back issue, bulge, herniation, uh, stenosis, whatever it happens to be. It's whether you're symptomatic or not. Either way, what's one thing that we can do that is, is not evasive, it's very safe, um, it's, it's to work on that diaphragm in a position that can let our, our paraspinals, our, our muscles in our back kind of relax. And this is mostly for people who live in that really extended posture, but we're going to get up to the wall and we're going to be, we're trying, we're going for 90 degrees and, a, and 90 degrees. We're going to take the roller, we're going to put it between our thighs and we're going to squeeze in on that roller. And what happens there is when our adductors turn on, our paraspinals kind of turn off. I like to put people's hands right on their rib cage. Take a big inhale through your nose, exhale forcefully through your mouth. We want to push all that air down into our pelvis and into our low back using our diaphragm to get that to, to, to move. So you're probably only going to do this for maybe a set of five, five breaths. Uh, once you get going, if you were to do this for minutes at a time, you would start to change your, your gas exchange, your body, probably maybe get a headache or feel a little lightheaded. Um, but try this, try this morning, noon and night for a week and see how it feels. Um, there's probably a lot of good things that are going to come out of this. Your diaphragm is going to start working better. Your abs are going to start coming into play more in your movements. Your lower back is going to kind of relax out. So it's not so tense. You might feel a lot better. Try it out. See how it goes.